Hello there, my name's Len Goodman and I'm one of the judges on Strictly Come Dancing. And I'm very, very excited because I've got my new book coming out. It's called Better Late Than Never. And we took a while to come up with the title, but the thing is with me, my whole life, everything has happened late on. I didn't start to dance till I was 21. I never had my son till I was nearly 40. And I never got asked to do Strictly Come Dancing or anything on TV until I was 60. So I guess everything about me is really a little bit of better late than never. I started off in a, in a bizarre way. I was born in the East End. I lived uh, uh, all my early life in Bethnal Green. And uh, there's some marvellous anecdotes about my early life. One of which, I mean, there's a photograph in the book, which is this photograph here, where um, my nan, who used to, her little job, was to boil up beetroots and we had this great big cauldron where she used to bubble up the water with a gas thing underneath and chuck all the raw beetroots in and cook them up. Well, before the water got too hot, I was always bathed every night in this cauldron of bubbling water. And then with the scum and the filth and everything else that came off, I'm not sure that I didn't once tinkle in it as well. Anyway, in went the beetroots and they were boiled up and everyone said, my grandmother's beetroots were the best in London. So there you are. So there's little anecdotes about my early life. And then we went on to how I eventually got into ballroom dancing, which was a, a mixture of a couple of things, really. I hurt my foot playing football, so I couldn't play soccer. And one of my mates used to go dancing. He used to say, it's marvellous, then, full of girls, hardly any guys. And a girlfriend of me, anyway, I ended up going with a girlfriend and we just went to the local dance school and I started dancing. And I have a photograph here of myself and my partner, which winning our first ever dancing competition. I think her hair is gorgeous and any young people thinking of buying this book should maybe copy that. It should, you'd look gorgeous with your hair bouffanted up with a few flowers in it. Anyway, I went on uh, to dance for, for years and years and practiced gradually got into competitions and I used to specialise in, in exhibition competitions. That's where you could dance and you were allowed to do lifts and pick your partner up. And uh, this is a photograph here of me dancing in a thing called the Jewel of the Giants. And you can see how powerful I was. Look, this partner of mine up above my head like a piece of paper. But I'm coming now to my two greatest claims to fame. I'm a very keen golfer and there's one or two anecdotes about little stories about playing golf and bizarre happenings. But I got to meet my hero, Tiger Woods. Two good looking guys, eh? But there's one other thing, even better. My absolute claim to fame. I am in the Beano. Woo! On the Robbie Rebel page. Fantastic, all about him dancing, and he shouts out, give us a 10, Len, and there I am in the Beano. Well, if you decide to buy the book, I hope it's a great read for you. It tells my life from my early days, as I say, in the East End, right through to when I was 60 years old and getting onto Strictly Gum Dancing, and then getting the call to go to Los Angeles and do Dancing with the Stars in LA. So... It's a marvellous life that I've led, and at least I've had a few years of life to tell you, so it's not just three or four pages, and I do hope you like it. I made sure they did it in large print, because I hate those books that are in tiny print. It's nice large print, and there's no long words. Well, I think Marmalade is the longest. Anyway, enjoy your read, and thanks for watching. Bye.